The video for April 1st, 2017 is entitled Another April Fool's Day. Well, my friend Steve Hart and I did not meet yesterday. The videos recorded at my talk last Sunday were not completely ready yet. I hope today. Anyway, someone complained that my videos do not contain any new information, that I keep repeating myself. Please bear in mind, again, that I am spending much less time researching things than I used to, focusing on getting things more settled in my life. Also, the cabal criminals seem to manage delay after delay in the resetting of international currency away from the fiat U.S. dollar. Supposedly, they agreed. However, the reset would potentially pull the rug from under their scheme to control the world economy. Of course, many criminals are also being exposed and used, or in need rather, to be arrested and publicly taken down. This is apparently in process according to some reports. It's, it's high time for them to stop uh, playing us as fools when so many are finally waking up. And I need to change something, I have a word wrong here that I didn't notice when I first typed it. Anyway, folks, I really expected to uh, be putting up videos that were already recorded, as I said in the blurb, uh, but that's been delayed, and I tried to connect with Aristo, but uh, I'm not getting a response back from him. So here I am doing another video for April Fool's Day, uh, which is actually tomorrow. Today is the last day of the month, but I'm trying to get things wrapped up uh, as March ends and as April begins uh, so that I can reduce a little bit of my costs every month and uh, not have to rent uh, such a large storage space. So there's been a lot of physical work that's uh, been being done to accommodate that and to accomplish the task. And my son and uh, uh, another friend who used to be my ex-wife's third yeah, I think third uh, ex-husband. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's uh, he's going to help me, and the two of them are going to be helping me, I guess, tomorrow, which was which is actually April Fool's Day. Uh, so that's what's going on in, in my world. And again, I continue to follow what people send me as far as uh, uh, Benjamin Fulford's reports and and other things that are. Uh, supposedly happening behind the scenes, but as we've all, those of us that have been following us have all realized, all of these reports, Benjamins and, and others that, that are promising positive changes, uh, keep getting delayed and delayed and delayed again and again and again. And that's the same with the with the RV, it's the same with the, the change in the uh, political arena in the United States especially, but of course it will affect uh, uh, also the Vatican and, and the city of London and DC, uh, because that's where the, they're the city states again that run the world and have been doing so for a long time covertly. Uh, the Rockefellers are, are dying, <laughs> uh, two generations died, you know, the deaths were announced in the past week. Uh, so that's an interesting thing. But, but we still have a lot of cabal people and apparently in high places and apparently still alive that are doing their dastardly deeds to try to uh, maintain their scam uh, as long as they possibly can. But uh, as I see it, the gig is up. I mean, uh, people are waking up. Someone said that, it's already at 10% of the people are awake, and when it reaches 12%, it'll actually happen. I always thought uh, it needed a less than 10% even to uh, shift the whole, the whole thing, but apparently not. And they keep, again, raising how, what, what percentage of people. Some even say that over half the people have to be a, a, a awake, and that will never, that will never happen until the cabal is taken out and, and, and until we can actually get truthful media 
reporting on on things that are viable and applicable to the new age of spirit that uh, as far as i'm concerned we have entered into yet it's still a game of tug a tug of war between the old and the new uh, as as again as the cabal continues to uh, play its games of, of trying to hold on and and there's tr the trump administration is filled with a whole bunch of people that do not have the best interests of humanity at heart they're still they still want to play the war game and there's a lot of people in his cabinet that are wanting to start a war with russia which is insane uh and that's that's their mentality folks they do not have compassion they do not have uh, wisdom that has compassion woven into it they, they are compassionless people uh controlled by by a demon entity and uh or demon entities in any case the world continues this april fool's day to be as it has been uh run by you know run by absolute insane individuals that cannot see that love is the only answer that we're not going to get out of our conundrum our dilemma until the people that have been pulling the strings as it were are removed from that position and until people are put into the position of of not only leadership but uh, truth telling where the media no longer is part of the deception but becomes part of the answer but it has to be a new media it has to be a media willing to tell the truth and that includes alex jones telling the truth about israel i mean israel is a terrorist nation and it's not it's not real they're not really jews they're ashkenazis and they have no uh what's the word uh, no semi they have no semitic blood in them at all they and that's been scientifically shown uh by people that have researched this so these are things that have to change and how it's going to happen how quickly it's going to happen i don't know I don't know. I've been on the fence with this, uh, wanting to get over the fence and and into the new, the real new age of spirit for a very long time. And we're still being played as fools. And that's the unfortunate reality that we have to face. And as for talking about other things, what is there to talk about? This is the threshold that we have to get across. And if we don't get across it, we will keep the we will keep being victims of the charade of the establishment, and that's what makes fools of the whole thing and fools of our Creator uh, for allowing it. But I, I don't again. I don't. I don't know how it, how it's going to play out. How it's supposed to happen, and, and these big changes how they're supposed to come to us and be manifest in our world so that we can actually experience them i don't know the answer to that anyway folks thank you for for listening and for putting up with my uh with my struggle to get resettled in my home here and uh, to, uh get rid of the all of the stuff that's been in storage for so long and and either move it completely, get rid, I'm, I'm moving my books to Unity of Melbourne. Uh, that's been agreed to now. So that's going to lighten my load a little bit and I still have other things that I'm working on uh, to move out within the next, you know, less than a week now. Thank you for listening and namaste.